Have you ever wondered how the US stock market has been performing this year to date? Grasping the ebb and flow of market trends is crucial, whether you're a seasoned financial analyst or an individual looking to grow personal wealth. Understanding these trends can provide valuable insights for crafting sound investment strategies. It's about not just knowing the numbers, but interpreting what they mean in the grand scheme of things. Today, we delve into the details of the US stock market's year-to-date performance. To grasp the market's pulse, we need to look at the major indexes. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, the S&P 500, and the Nasdaq are the three giants that hold the reins of the US stock market. Each one provides a unique perspective, painting a holistic picture of the market's ebb and flow. Let's take a closer look at each one. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, often referred to as the Dow, is the old guard of the stock market indexes. It's composed of 30 large, publicly owned companies based in the United States. This year the Dow has been on a roller coaster ride, showcasing the volatility and the resilience of the market. Next we have the S&P 500. Unlike the Dow, which is limited to 30 stocks, the S&P 500 casts a wider net, encompassing 500 of the largest companies listed on the New York Stock Exchange, or NASDAQ. It's often considered the most accurate representation of the U.S. stock market. This year the S&P 500 has seen its share of peaks and valleys, highlighting the dynamism that characterizes our market. Finally there's the NASDAQ. This index is the tech whiz of the bunch, heavily weighted towards technology companies. It's home to some of the biggest names in the industry like Apple, Amazon, and Google. The Nasdaq's performance this year has been a testament to the tech sector's growing influence and impact on the market. Each of these indexes tells a story. The Dow Jones speaks to the traditional powerhouses of the U.S. economy. The S&P 500 reflects the broader market, providing a panoramic view of the U.S. stock landscape. The Nasdaq, on the other hand, points to the future where technology companies play an increasingly dominant role. By understanding these indexes and their year-to-date performances, we can gauge the market's pulse. We can identify trends, anticipate shifts, and make informed decisions. It's like listening to the heartbeat of the economy, each beat a clue into what lies ahead. These indexes serve as a thermometer, giving us a sense of the overall health of the US stock market. Like any competition, the stock market has its winners and losers. Let's delve into the battlefield of the financial world and look at the sectors that have been basking in glory and those that have been licking their wounds this year. The technology sector has been a real standout, outpacing all others. The reasons are manifold. The ongoing digital revolution driven by the pandemic has created a surge in demand for tech services. From remote work solutions to digital entertainment, technology has become an indispensable part of our lives. This reliance has translated into robust growth for tech companies, making them the undisputed winners in the stock market arena. On the other hand, the energy sector has been lagging behind. Despite the rebound in oil prices, the sector has struggled. The transition towards renewable energy, coupled with regulatory pressures and the unpredictability of oil prices, have created a challenging environment for energy companies. These factors have made the energy sector one of the underperformers in the market this year. The healthcare sector also deserves a mention. With the world grappling with a health crisis, one might expect healthcare stocks to be the top performers. Yet, the sector has delivered a mixed performance, while some companies, especially those involved in vaccine production and telehealth services, have seen their stock prices soar. Others have been hit by delayed elective procedures and increased costs. The financial sector too has had its share of ups and downs. With interest rates at historic lows, banks' profit margins have been squeezed. But as the economy rebounds and interest rates are expected to rise, the outlook for this sector is starting to look brighter. These sector trends provide us with a more nuanced understanding of the market's performance. They remind us that the stock market is not a monolith, but a complex ecosystem where different sectors interact and respond to a variety of factors. So, as we continue our journey through the labyrinth of the financial world, let's keep these trends in mind. The stock market doesn't exist in a vacuum, various factors influence its movement. Delving into these influencers we find a myriad of elements at play. At the heart of this intricate web, the Federal Reserve's policies hold a significant sway. By adjusting interest rates and managing monetary policy, the Fed can stimulate or slow down the economy, which in turn impacts the stock market. For instance, when the Fed lowers interest rates, borrowing becomes cheaper, businesses expand, and the stock market can soar. 
On the flip side, when rates rise, borrowing costs increase, potentially cooling off economic growth and, by extension, the stock market. But it's not just the Fed that holds the reins. Geopolitical events both home and abroad can cause the market to ripple or roil. Trade wars, elections, conflicts and even tweets can send shockwaves through the market. Investors in response to these events may buy or sell off stocks causing prices to fluctuate. Then there are the economic indicators like employment rates and inflation. A strong job market can bolster consumer confidence leading to increased spending and thus, higher corporate profits. This can often translate into a bullish market. Conversely, when unemployment rates rise, consumer spending may decrease, potentially leading to a bearish market. Inflation also plays a key role. Moderate inflation is a sign of a healthy economy and can positively influence the stock market. However, high inflation can erode purchasing power, leading to lower corporate profits and potentially a depressed stock market. Let's not forget industry-specific factors, technological advancements, and even weather patterns. Yes, you heard it right, even Mother Nature has a say in Wall Street's performance. For instance, a harsh winter can impact retail sales or a particularly active hurricane season can affect insurance stocks. In essence, the stock market is a complex beast, influenced by a multitude of factors, both big and small, visible and invisible. These influencers are the invisible hands that shape the market's performance. The US stock market doesn't operate in isolation, it's part of the global financial ecosystem. Now let's explore this interconnectedness by comparing the US stock market's performance with that of other major global markets. Starting in the East, the Tokyo Stock Exchange, often seen as the gateway to Asia's economy, has been showing steady growth this year. However, it's not quite keeping pace with the US market, which has been charging ahead on the back of strong corporate earnings. Moving westwards, the London Stock Exchange, a barometer for Europe's economic health, has been grappling with Brexit uncertainties. The resulting market volatility has in comparison, emphasized the relative stability of the US market. Then there's the Shanghai Stock Exchange, a major player in the emerging markets. It's been a roller coaster ride this year with government intervention and trade tensions causing some dramatic highs and lows. In contrast, the US market's performance has been more predictable, underpinned by solid economic fundamentals. Now let's shift our focus to how global events have impacted the US market. Take the recent oil price shock for instance. It sent ripples across the globe, unsettling markets from London to Tokyo. The US market wasn't immune to this. Energy stocks took a hit, highlighting the market's vulnerability to global oil dynamics. Then there was the global chip shortage. It disrupted supply chains worldwide, impacting sectors from automobiles to electronics. Again the US market felt the pinch. Tech stocks in particular came under pressure reminding us that global manufacturing issues can quickly become local market concerns. So, what does all this mean? It's simple. The US market, while powerful, is not an island. It's influenced by what happens in other markets and reacts to global events. It's a piece in the global financial puzzle, intertwined with other pieces in ways that can be complex and fascinating. The global perspective helps us see how the US market fits into the larger financial picture. And it's this perspective that can help us make more informed investment decisions. Looking ahead, what can we expect from the US stock market? The future of the US stock market is not something that can be predicted with absolute certainty. Yet we can analyze market forecasts, potential trends, and indicators to make educated assumptions. Let's delve into the possible scenarios that could play out. It's quite evident that technology stocks have been leading the way for the past few years. This trend is not likely to change anytime soon. The digital revolution is still in full swing, with new technologies such as artificial intelligence, blockchain and quantum computing, promising to disrupt various industries. Therefore, tech stocks are expected to continue their upward trajectory. However, it's not all rosy. The market could face several challenges. The current geopolitical tensions and trade wars could lead to volatility. The ever-looming threat of inflation and the Federal Reserve's potential interest rate hikes could also create headwinds for the market. Investors should be prepared for possible short-term corrections and price swings. On the other hand, there are several opportunities for investors. Renewable energy, electric vehicles, and other green initiatives are gaining momentum. Companies in these sectors could potentially provide lucrative investment opportunities. The continued growth of emerging markets and the increasing global middle class could also drive demand for a variety of products and services, benefiting companies with a global footprint. Moreover, the market might also see a shift towards value investing, 
With high valuations in growth stocks, investors might start looking for undervalued companies with strong fundamentals. This shift could lead to a resurgence in sectors such as manufacturing, real estate, and consumer goods. In the face of these potential trends and challenges, diversification remains a key strategy. By spreading investments across different sectors, geographic areas, and asset classes, investors can mitigate risks and potentially reap rewards from various sources. While we can't predict the future, we can prepare for it. So whether you're an investor who prefers to play it safe or one who loves to take on risks, understanding these potential scenarios can help you make informed decisions and navigate the ever-changing landscape of the U.S. stock market. So, what have we learned from our deep dive into the U.S. stock market? Well, we've taken a close look at the performance of major indexes. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq Composite have all shown us a snapshot of the market's health. They've told us a story of resilience, of a market that's been tested but continues to show signs of strength. Each index, with its unique blend of industries and companies, has given us a different perspective on the market. We've also examined sector trends looking at the performance of different industries within the overall market. We've seen that technology and healthcare sectors have shown impressive growth while energy and utilities have struggled. These trends remind us that the market is not a monolith. It's a complex ecosystem of sectors, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. The influencers, those external factors that can steer the market, have also been a key part of our discussion. We've talked about monetary policy, political developments, and even unexpected events like natural disasters or pandemics. These influencers remind us that the market doesn't exist in a vacuum, it's part of a larger world, and that world can have a big impact on the market's performance. We've also taken a global perspective, looking at how the US market fits into the wider global economy. We've seen how international events from trade disputes to geopolitical tensions can ripple through the US market. This global perspective reminds us that the market is not just about what's happening domestically, it's also about what's happening around the world. And finally, we've looked ahead, considering the future prognosis for the market. While no one can predict the future with certainty, we've discussed some of the potential trends and challenges that could shape the market in the coming years. Remember, understanding the market is key to making informed investment decisions. The more we learn, the better equipped we are to navigate the complex and ever-changing world of the stock market. The US stock market, like any other, is a complex dynamic entity. Its pulse is driven by countless factors, making it a fascinating yet challenging field to navigate. The key to success lies in continuous learning, in always seeking to understand the forces at play. Remember, the stock market isn't a game of chance, it's a game of knowledge and strategy. Stay informed, stay prepared, and let the market trends be your guide.